after inward and before dispatch, the inventory can be handled or mishandled at multiple stages. It can be moved between bins, misplaced during picking, put away in the wrong location, etc. Managing inventory in the warehouse can be a tedious task and minor mistakes could lead to a mismatch in inventory count. InCraft WMS's robust inventory management solution ensures 100% inventory accuracy at all stages. This includes bin consolidation, cycle count, bin offline, recycle desk, audit log, pick expired items, bin consolidation, inventory in the bins gets depleted as picking happens. To optimize space utilization, inventory is consolidated between bins. There are two methods to consolidate inventory between bins. Bin to bin. The total inventory present in a bin is transferred to another by scanning the bin IDs. The operator scans the source bin ID and the destination bin ID to move all products from the source bin to the destination bin. Piece to bin. The inventory is moved piece by piece. The operator scans the bin ID and scans the item ID of the product to be put in the bin. It also ensures that the sellable inventory does not mix with the QC fail inventory. InCraft WMS updates the inventory status on the go by mapping them to the new bin. Cycle count. Cycle count is a day-to-day -day activity. InCraft WMS enables the warehouse to do cycle count without blocking the inventory or stopping WH operations, thus preventing sales loss. It corrects manual errors such as misplacement and products marked not found during picking in real time. To begin the cycle count, the operator scans the bin ID, then scans all of the item IDs of the products physically present in the bin to check the cycle count before returning the bin to its original location. InCraft WMS marks the inventory not present in the bin as lost and maps the extra pieces to the bin. These updates are shared with the sales channels in real time to ensure 100% fulfillment accuracy. Bin Offline. InCraft WMS provides an option to mark the bin as offline. On scanning the bin ID, it displays the details of the bin and location. Once the bin is offline, InCraft WMS updates the online sales channel in real time with the reduced inventory count of the offline bin. The offline bin is temporarily unavailable for sales. This allows for the warehouse team to perform actions like changing the price tag, sending them for photo shoot or cataloging, or emptying the location or aisle for maintenance. Recycle Desk. On a typical day, if you find a product lying on the floor, or on any shelf, it's hard to tell the current status of the product just by looking at it. It may have been picked for an order or it just fell off the rack. InCraft WMS tracks the inventory at a granular level. On scanning the item ID, it displays the current status and all details of the product. The operator takes the next action based on the status of the product. If the product is live, the operator moves it to the closest bin by just scanning the bin ID. InCraft WMS updates the current location of the product to ensure accuracy in picking. If the product was picked and got dropped by error, then it is moved to the packing stations. For perishable products, InCraft WMS also displays the details of batch ID and the expiry of the product. Audit Log InCraft WMS keeps track of every single activity taking place in the warehouse. Just by scanning the item ID of the product, the supervisor can see all the actions done on it. It captures the name of the operator with the timestamp of the activity performed. This makes it easy to track productivity in real time and identify the cause of the error. Picked expired items. InCraft WMS enables the warehouse to target picking of products that have expired in the storage at a batch level. The operator enters the batch ID that is expired or is near expiry and scans the location ID, and InCraft WMS will suggest the location and products that have expired. The operator picks the products by scanning them and removes them from the sellable inventory.